vitamin D, and the common cold in children. Over 200 types of viruses contribute to the common cold, which is the most common infectious illness of childhood. Common symptoms include coughing, sneezing, fever, sore throat, runny nose, and irritability. The average child will suffer up to 12 colds per year, which means that during this time, they will be missing out on school and other learning opportunities. The common cold cost the Canadian government an estimated $6 billion per year, placing a considerable economic burden on healthcare systems and societies. Approximately 35% of this cost is due to loss in productivity and parents missing work to care for their sick child. However, there is a possibility that vitamin D can be used to fight off the common cold. Vitamin D is involved in lung function, maturation, and growth. In scientific studies, vitamin D has been shown to increase the production of certain proteins called cathelicidins. These proteins are found in lungs and have been shown to decrease disease severity and replication of the microbes that cause the cold. We completed a clinical trial to determine whether this was true. The trial occurred through Target Kids, the largest primary care-based research network in Canada. Approximately 700 1 to 5-year-old children were recruited and randomized to either standard dose or high dose vitamin D supplementation groups. In our experiment, standard dose is 400 international units of vitamin D per day, which is consistent with recommendations set by the American Academy of Pediatrics. High dose is 2,000 international units of vitamin D per day, which is within safe limits set by the Institute of Medicine. Whenever parents suspected their child to have a cold, they completed a nasal swab test, which was sent to the lab for testing. In addition, parents were asked to state the number of colds that their child may have had over the winter season. These results were reported through monthly phone calls between parents and a research assistant. Vitamin D supplementation was not found to influence cold occurrence. That means that on average, children in each group had the same amount of colds during the study period. There was no difference in the number of viral infections that children got, regardless of which group they were in, the high dose group or the standard dose group. Therefore, high dose vitamin D cannot be recommended for common cold prevention in young children. We'd like to thank all of the participating families for their time and involvement. We are also grateful to all practitioners who are currently involved in the Target Kids practice-based research network. For more information on Target Kids, please visit our website. Finally, this study was supported by the Canadian Institute of Health Research and the Thrasher Research Fund. Thank you.